Hey everyone, my name is Kaurav and welcome back to 100 GB. I've been living with this very nice setup which I've been striving for like for a good what 10-15 years and I've been living it uh, fully for the last six months and I'll be talking about the things that work, the things that didn't work and the new additions. Without wasting any time, let's go ahead. So first, the things uh, that really worked. Well, obviously the first thing is the layout. J just for a recap, on the left side you have the entry to the room and then we have on the top right we have a section where all the garbage lives well including the camera and the lights then we have table number two then we have the empty space where my chair is where i sit and then we have table number one on its side we have the library and the the empty space that you see uh it hosts like a queen bed uh, and then on the sides we have the cupboards now the position that i'm or the spot that i'm in it's really nice because i can work and if i need to do something else on the other pc i can do it here and it really helps in my content creation as well like i don't need to adjust my table or adjust the camera or the lights they are just there and things are in general more convenient okay let's talk about table number one well uh the mouse and the keyboard they are really amazing the only like very small nitpick I have on the mouse is that I feel that the battery doesn't last that long. It's like barely uh, two, three days. Keyboard on the other hand is really nice. The battery, I don't know it lasts for how many weeks. I can't even recall. Well, the Lenovo Talk is really nice because it helps me making sure that there is just one connection to the laptop and everything is connected with that. Well, let's come to the elephants in the room. Let's come to the main monitors first. The first thing I found great was the brightness intelligence sensor. It's just something that none of my previous monitors ever had. So it happens like all the time daily. After dinner, I uh, resume my work on the workstation. Then it just feels everything is too bright. And all I have to do is turn off the lights. The moment I turn off the lights, all three of my monitors, they adjust uh, to the night rust protection. And not just that, because that any other monitor can do as well. Well, mine didn't. But the fun part is that the brightness that it goes down to, it's like almost zero, but it's still visible. It is very pleasant on the eyes, which brings me to this uh, to the second nice thing about the monitors, which is like all of that, all of all of what I told you, this when coupled with the Moon Hello backlight, it just makes the entire experience. Uh, so nice on the eyes and you also notice this light bar that I had well I rarely use it now it, it just feels too bright whenever I uh, whenever I switch it on uh, the moon halo backlight even during the day I just leave it on but if you were to like disable it enable it or toggle it it is very easy to do that all you have to do is there's joystick at the bottom you go to the left and here you have all the uh, the entire control you can toggle it, you can uh, change the brightness, you can adjust the warmth. Okay, let's talk about the things that didn't work. Again, back to the table number one. The first one is the gaming handheld, the Aya Neo Geek One S. Well, the only problem I have with this is I don't have time for it. Like in the last six months, I've barely played for maybe four or five times and that to just Spider-Man remastered and sometimes just, uh, just roaming around in GTA 5, that's it. Well, uh, let's come to the main monitors, the things that didn't work. Well, I posted a shorts on my channel. It got it got viral. Well, we see people uh, who are on both sides of the fence. Well, uh, let me tell you what, what my take on, is, on this is. The main problem I have with these monitors is the price. For all the eye care features that you're getting, you are paying a premium for those. The, the other problem I have is the refresh rate. Well, I'm spending, spending around $600, $600 on a PC. I would have expected maybe to at least get uh, like 120 hertz but this is just 60 hertz which means that uh, i uh, it's it's hard for me to game here because i have like rtx 3070 and it doesn't make any sense to get this gpu and have a good cpu if your monitor is uh, maxed out at 60 fps and coming to table number two uh, and this is where i have the other 24 inches monitor well the same complaint here as well not a complaint but uh, something that i don't like I think this monitor makes more sense if you're considering a second vertical monitor for coding. Well, the other problem, if you notice in table number two, was the extension that was lying. Uh, just look at that. It looks so bad. This is disgusting. Well, I fixed it. Apparently, the extension had two empty spots at the back, which can be used to mount the extension on the wall. And I just used two wood screws, uh, drilled them on the bottom of the tabletop, and then just hanged the extension there. 
Yeah, it's it's a little bit convenient now and the extra wires that I had, they're all rolled over along this running pipe like a snake. Coming to the keyboard and the mouse, this Apple Magic keyboard, for some reason, I don't like the feel of it. It's very flat. Uh, like whenever I have to toggle from my mechanical keyboard to this, I'm like, oh, what the hell am I doing? It doesn't feel like it's it's not very fun to code here uh, on table number two. The mouse, it's really good. I really, uh, I really like it. The only problem is the wire. I just hate those extra wires um, uh, and I probably need to uh, like get a Bluetooth mouse. Well, then uh, NAS uh, PC, this mini PC. Now, one problem I have with this is while my photos from the phone is taken care of, they can be synced automatically, then they can go to this SSD. The problem is with my DSLRs, I, because I don't have any uh, provision to upload the photos automatically from the DSLR, and I have to like manually copy them uh, to the right place, which is maybe something I uh, need to fix or figure out what to do. Now, let's talk about the new additions on my table. The first one is this uh, really nice water bottle. This is from a brand called Zulu. The name is Zulu Gold 64 ounce. This was running a discount on Walmart. I think I got it for $5. This is really nice. It has like checkpoints for various times in the day just so that you can track how much water you are uh, putting in. Really nice. It helps you get in that habit. Well, the other uh, new addition, which hasn't happened yet, uh, you see this box, which is lying. So this is a very nice split Bluetooth mechanical keyboard from a company called Knockfree. They sent me uh, this around four months back, but I just couldn't open it. Uh, well, you know that I moved from a split keyboard to a normal keyboard. The reason was that I wanted to get rid of fires, but there was no split Bluetooth mechanical keyboard available back then. And now we have it. The third new addition is these Bluetooth earbuds. These are from a company called Noise. Now this is very interesting. I had an option to, uh, to buy really nice uh, earbuds either from Google or Apple, whatever. The only problem is that I had to spend like $100 plus on those. And now what I've done is in under fifty dollars, I've bought two earbuds, which are uh, which are good enough. Of course, not as good as uh, uh, the earbuds from Google, but I have more convenience now because I have a set which is connected to my personal stuff. The other um, other earbuds are connected to my work stuff. It was just a trade-off uh, between convenience and uh, like brand and quality, and I went for convenience. Well, the fourth thing that you see is the Bluetooth, uh, this Bluetooth speaker from JBL. I won it at a team uh, presentation. I posted about the presentation on the LinkedIn. Uh, feel free to check the article uh, or the post. It's doing nothing. I am not I'm not even like using it. Uh, let's see. Let's see how it goes with it. And that's all, folks. Uh, I mean, all the things that I didn't mention that I talked in the last video are mostly like there. They are fine. Um, I'm living with those. Uh, no problem. I guess I will see you in the next one. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, give it a like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And that's all. Bye.